how to connect with your clients when business is slow. Hello, it's John Bart. That's me. It's the Marketing for Owners podcast show. That's this thing. And if you're on iTunes, uh, which is my favourite, or Stitcher, or SoundCloud, have you ever, ever thought to give little old me a review? Have ya? Go on. It would be a huge help. And not only does it help my ego, uh, although if you think it's rubbish, then please say so. I, I actually appreciate the feedback. And if you do think it's rubbish, A, why are you listening to it? But B, it's good to know if it needs improving. How else can I know if you don't tell me? Uh, but feedback not only is good for me, it actually helps the show uh, sort of stay up there in iTunes and get discovered by others. Now, if you think about it, if you are benefiting from this, if this is helpful in any way, shape or form, and remember, it is free, then why not allow others to benefit it from uh, benefit from it too? I promise not to let any of your competitors in on the secrets. It'll all be other people. Anyway, anything you could do, anything, if you could spare the five seconds it would take, much appreciated. Thank you very much. End of this public announcement. Back to the show. So what do we do here? We, well, me, I help businesses and business owners and leaders make their life easier business life easier. Now, one of the best ways to do that is to uh, to get rid of the stress of where is that next customer and that next sale and the next order coming from. So if we could get rid of that, if customers knocked at our door so often that the only way to get rid of them or to quell the, the, the queues would be to put the prices up, would that be a bad thing? Think about it. I'm, well, if you need a hint, no, it will be a good thing. And that's what this is about. I also give you little tips on how to uh, make other things easier. And why, why on earth would you want to listen to me? This funny looking English guy with the grey hair. Well, not only because he's really good looking, but also because he's funny. Uh, No, not just that. Because the guy, uh, that's me, by the way, third person, um, has been doing this for 30 odd years and I don't have to. This is all for free. Why on earth would I would I be telling you I can't extract money or credit cards from you just by playing this? This is to help you have a better life. Take it for what it is, please. If you want to give me money, if you want to know more and want the details of the exact formula of how to make this work, go to theownersclub.co. It is a, a currently, at the time of recording, a very ultra low priced monthly membership group that costs £29 per month. 29 fine English pounds. It's roughly 35 Uh, American dollars, I think at the moment, and possibly about 40 Canadian dollars. But whatever it is, it's worth it. You can easy come, easy go, no contracts. If you don't like it, I'll give you all of your money back. Just ask. So back on with the show, how to connect your with clients when business is slow. All right, this is going to be quick fire. So if you don't have a pen or a pencil or a pad, don't you worry. Don't you worry, your pretty little head. I have it all written out for you. You may find this at marketingforowners.com slash podcast slash 658. And if you can figure this out, this is episode 658. So all the others from slash one, two, three, etc. All of the others are there, fully transcribed, fully written out, all any links, any pictures, any... Oh, the video, all of it. You could spend weeks. So off we go. This is 10, 10 quick fire tips. How to connect with your clients when business is slow. Number one, contact past clients. (laughs) 
Yes. Are you thinking that because somebody is no longer a client of yours that they don't like you? It was probably because you finished a project, they finished a project, they had other things on their mind, uh, they had different priorities at the time, they may have forgotten about you in all the busyness that they have in their lives, the same as you, but they have trusted you before, they will trust you again. And I include those ones that you think don't like you. More often than not, they do, they're just different. Uh, even the ones that you know don't like you, I would contact them again. I can promise you, I've had in the past, people I've thought didn't like me, I've actually, and if you ever meet me in a pub, I'll buy me a drink, I'll explain this couple of stories, I have tried to get rid of them on the phone to them in extremely clear language and have not been able to get rid of them <laughs> when I thought they didn't like me. There you go. Uh, number two, live stream. Facebook Live, Periscope, etc. I mean, Facebook Live is the big one at the moment and probably for the future. But live stream, do something different. If you think, what can I live stream about? Because I have a boring business, like I sell fire extinguishers or something. Oh, that's me. How about Q&A? Has anyone ever, have you got an F FAQs page on your website? Has anyone ever, ever, in all your experience, asked you a question? Well, answer it online. Doesn't have to be long, doesn't have to be posh or flash or scripted. Just answer it, be honest, and then it's there. It also fills up your uh, Facebook page with content. Number three, a social media contest. If you are not sure what these may be, uh, people have to, uh, people give out a prize. For example, you could say, um, we've got, uh, let me think, um, 10 free fire safety audit audits. Uh, the contest will run over this month or over these two weeks and we will give 10 free fire safety audits. Of course, you are trying to aim at people within your target market, but you're also trying to find new people. You might think, um, I mean, I'm saying fire safety audits because I sell fire safety stuff. But <clears throat> I'm, so I'm, you're thinking, well, who on earth would want that? Doesn't matter, I would think the same. But if they're a target for my products, they might want it. And it's easy. Go to, uh, pro, there are software companies called Gleam, Woobox, Giveaway Tools, or Rafflecopter, to name but four top ones. I'd check out Gleam if I were you. What you can do is make people just enter. It's like a sweepstake. Um, and these things, go and look at them. They explain it all, it's dead easy. But anyway, people, you can give them a free entry if they uh, retweet this, uh, two free, extra free entries if they share it on their Facebook, um, five other entries if they join your newsletter list, 20 if they buy a product from you, etc., etc. Encourages people to take action. You will build massive social media followings of raving fans. Trust me, go look. It's dirt cheap. Most of them have a free version. Number four, take photos on your phone and have them ready for a no news day and put them out on social media or on your blog when you've got nothing else to write about. Number five, update your newsletter. I assume you have some form of newsletter that goes out by email. Uh, use a new template or go to Fiverr and get a new template designed and then contact everyone and say, what do you think of our new newsletter template? Number six, Create a report or a download or a video or something, something of value, and tell people that you have it. Number seven, update your business cards. Change them, get a new design. Again, go to fiverr.com, fiverr, F-I-V-E-R-R.com, that's two R's. Stuff generally costs $5, £3.50. Sometimes they cost $10. Ooh, seven pounds. You can get new business cards designed in 24 hours. If you don't like it, ask them to do another. If you don't like that, go and try someone else. It was five dollars. That's where I get all my done. Uh, number eight, or in actual fact, I design a lot of ads on Canva myself. Anyway, don't tell anyone. Uh, number eight, create a testimonials page on your website 
if you haven't got one or update it if you have got one and contact everyone and say, have you ever had a good experience? Could you write in? We'd like to feature you and we'll give you a link to your website. That is the bonus for them. Number nine, go and visit people. Go and visit clients. Talk to them, ask for their opinion, ask what other services they would like you to provide. Ask where else they buy stuff that's related. Where did they used to buy it? Who else have they bought from? Who else do they buy from now? And then, and then provide those services so they don't have to go elsewhere. Number 10, oh, is that number nine? Number 10, comment on their social media pages. Say, hi, great to have you as a client. We love you, love what you do, appreciate it. And what a wonderful website you've got. What a lovely, nice new puppy you've got. Or nice new kitten or nice bit of bacon or whatever they are posting about. Do you understand? Stop coming up with excuses. I've just come up with 10 ways to connect with clients when business is slow. P current or previous or past clients are easier to sell to than finding new people. That's what it's all about. Anyway, that was a Thursday. I'm sure 10 points is enough. Uh, it is a drive time podcast recommendation. And if you haven't heard this one before, it's great. It's my good friend, John Janks, and he has Duct Tape Marketing, the podcast. Duct Tape Marketing, Google it. Buy his books, read his books, follow his podcast, all round great bloke. We'll have an all ones to, one to follow tomorrow, I think, is it Melanie? I think it might be Melanie. I can't remember, but you have to pop back and find out. I'll speak to you soon.